Hey everyone and welcome to today's Gospel Reflection. It's taken from John chapter 3 verses 1 through 8. And I love this encounter between Nicodemus and Jesus. Um, the first thing that struck me as I was reading this was that Nicodemus came to Jesus in the cover of night. He came to him at nighttime, the darkness. Why? Well, obviously he's afraid. He's, he's afraid. He doesn't want to be seen with Jesus. And of course, it brought to mind for me all the times in my life where I have been afraid of my relationship with Jesus, of professing my relationship with Jesus. Um, times that I've, yeah, just wanted to keep it hidden or just didn't want to draw attention to it. Not that I'm ashamed of Jesus, but I just didn't necessarily want it to come up because it may make other people uncomfortable. Um, yeah, all of those times that I've done that. So in that recognition to be able to ask for mercy and forgiveness because I've missed opportunities to glorify God in, in those moments. I've missed an opportunity to, to declare the good things that God has done in my life. Um, and so to ask for courage also to, to never do that again. I want to take advantage of every moment that is given to me on this earth to proclaim the goodness of God, that he is risen and that he loves us. You know, every, every moment that I can to proclaim to all peoples is a, is a good moment. So um, that was the first thing that I, I took from this gospel. The second thing I took from this gospel was the purity of Nicodemus's heart. I was reminded of... The Beatitudes when when Jesus says blessed are the pure of heart for they shall see God and here we have Nicodemus this this man who is beginning to recognize who Jesus is he can see the connection here Jesus is of God he, these things cannot be happening without God being involved in them and slowly he's he's realizing and recognizing Jesus is God you know that he in this moment I don't think Nicodemus has fully come to the, the full realization of that Jesus is, is God made human, but it's, it's beginning, it's happening. Um, and, and that's because of the purity of his heart. Um, and do I have that same purity in my, in my, in my own heart? Am I able to see God in all things, in all people? Um, and the third thing that struck me from this gospel was the, I love where, where Jesus says, the wind blows where it wills. Um, how sensitive am I to the voice of the Spirit? Do I catch his nuances in, in each moment of the day? Um, his suggestions, his promptings. Am I, am I attentive to his voice? Or am I going about my own business, um, listening to myself? And um, it reminded me as well of, of a quote from St. Hildegard, where she said, I am but a feather blown on the breath of the Holy Spirit this beautiful freedom that she lived in that was totally just a total abandonment to the will of God and, and to be to be so docile as to his 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 very movement that she is blown around by it I love that that's incredible so that is my prayer for all of us today that we are attentive to the voice of the spirit um that we are really living and abiding in his will for us in our every moment that and that we our hearts become pure um, that we may see him in all things. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.